Hi, and welcome to Ant Scandinavia. This video is about catching queens. So if you haven't caught a queen yet, or you just want more like me, this video is for you. How to get your hands on a queen can vary from person to person. In this video, I'm going to talk about the four main methods that I think are good. However, the absolute first step towards catching a queen is to have a setup ready. How to build a setup is easy. You just take a test tube, fill it up with water, about one third, put some cotton in it so the water won't run out, and then you're pretty much done. Put your queen inside and seal it up with cotton. Done. The first method towards catching a queen is to wait and let them come to you. Do this in the beginning of nuptial flight season, so you have more chance of catching one. How to do this is pretty simple. Get a flat piece of rock, concrete or anything flat and heavy. I'm using some pavement rocks for this. Find a hard and muddy slash sandy surface, or you can just make one like me. And then place them all about one centimeter down into the ground. Water the rocks so the water seeps down under them to create the perfect founding chamber environment. Then it's just a wait. Wait until a major rainstorm and then wait some more days after that to be sure that as many queens as possible have nested under your setup. This method will of course only catch fully clustral and semi-clustral queens, not parasitic ones sadly. Another method towards catching a queen is to simply look for one. And by that I mean look for one that is still walking around searching for a nest. If you're out looking for a specific species, it's good to take a look at the nuptial flight schedule so you know when they start flying. Take a look at Nordic Ants videos covering this topic. When I do this method, I always dress up really nice, because you have to look good as a first impression to your new queen, or else she will deny you. Then I usually just walk down my road and look onto the ground. To walk on a man-made road is the easiest, and if you live in a suburban area it's even easier. This is because you can see over a large surface without having to consider potential hiding spots, because there's nowhere to hide. When you see your queen and you want to catch her, simply scream out as loud as you can that you have found a queen ant, whilst waving your arms so that everybody knows that you're a weirdo collecting bugs from the street. Yay! Yeah! I found a queen ant! Whoa! Yay! Yay! Haha! <laughs> yeah! Anyone there at all? No? Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. This last part is of course much harder if you live like me, cause there's no one there. After that, you simply catch her in some sort of container. Another method towards catching a queen is to go out flipping rocks to see if there's any small colonies under there. This method is however pretty hard to do. The reason for that being that rocks in nature are rarely flat, which makes it harder to get the queen, brood and potential analytics out. However, it is still a way towards catching your queen, but you have to be very gentle and quick when picking them up. Use a scooping tool to take them out and then place them into a container. A scooping tool, like a spoon, is necessary because they often make concave cavities which contains both the brood and potential nanitics. So just scoop them out with the spoon whilst they are still in their little safety cavity. Then put them into your container. When you're home with the ants and the dirt that came with them, pour them out on a flat surface like a paper and start sorting out the brood. Look primarily for the queen, but also for the workers, and be very sure to go through it carefully to get all of the brood. If you collect no brood, this may throw the queen off, and she may be confused and not produce more brood in weeks. This is not all cases though, but just a reason why you should search through the dirt thoroughly for all of the brood. The last way, and in my opinion, the most boring way, is to buy a queen or a colony. This is always an option, but personally, I think it's pretty good to catch queens from your area. This is because you can always release them back into the wild if you don't want them anymore. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video was helpful, and that you too soon find your queen. In my last video, I asked you guys to name yourselves. Here are the best 4 comments on that video, and there is a poll of the names here. Go vote now and choose what I should call my subscribers, cause you are subscribed right?